Top 10 Banned Foods. Number 10. Horse meat. Though the meat known as cheveline was only technically banned in the United States from 2007 until 2011, the regulations that remain in place, thankfully for horse lovers everywhere, still make it very hard for a once strong industry to resurge. Horse meat has been a common replacement for beef for centuries, so much so that you probably have eaten it and not known it. Many food manufacturers and restaurants have either called it beef or mixed it in with their other beef products. It was commonly used as a substitute meat when times got tough, during both world wars, and has always been a main ingredient in several dog foods. Many religions and countries have had various bans on cheveline throughout history, but most famously was that of France, where eating horse meat known as hypophagy was punishable by death until 1866. Number 9. Japanese Pufferfish You may already know that the Japanese pufferfish is fatally toxic, aside from very select pieces, which must be cut by only the most precise of chefs. However, many countries won't even take that risk, as the entire European Union has banned the sale and preparation of any fish even belonging to the same genus. Even in the United States, only a handful of restaurants are licensed to serve the dish known in Japan as fugu. The chefs that prepare fugu are required to undertake an intense exam process that only few pass. If you eat the poisonous pufferfish, whose tetrodotoxin can be over 1,000 times more dangerous than cyanide, your mouth will go numb, your body will become paralyzed, and you will die from asphyxiation. There is no known antidote for this toxin. What's more is that the part of the fish that is considered the most delicious is the liver, which is surrounded by the toxin and sometimes known to contain it. Number 8. Frozen Dinners you might not know the chemical azotecarbonamide by name, but if you live in the United States, chances are you have eaten this potentially dangerous additive. The chemical known as ADA is an industrial foaming agent that is used in various squishy plastic products such as yoga mats and flip-flops, but is also widely used in microwavable dinners in order to make bread and other such foods more light, spongy, and aesthetically appealing. It is also used at some fast food chains in the dough they use in order to make the bread last longer and be more fluffy. Notably, it was used by Subway, who banned the chemical in 2014 after public outrage. Because ADA is known to cause certain allergies, skin conditions, and may be linked to causing asthma, it is now banned across the European Union, Singapore, and Australia. Number 7. Unpasteurized Milk until Louis Pasteur invented what we know today as pasteurization in 1856, foods such as wine, beer, almonds, and milk were prone to going bad extremely fast or housing a multitude of bacteria such as Salmonella and E. coli from the point of creation. Because of the deadly danger of these bacteria, the United States banned distribution of unpasteurized or raw milk across state lines. Though it is illegal in some states, in most you can buy raw milk from local dairy farmers or small stores. These providers, however, cannot widely distribute their product, and a growing number of people want to change the government regulations against this. These people cite the fact that the milk doesn't contain growth hormones, that it may have some health benefits that pasteurized milk does not, and that it allegedly tastes better. The CDC, FDA, and American Medical Association are all steadfast against this movement because, though not all raw milk is hazardous, it only takes one bad batch to be deadly or cause an outbreak of disease. If the demand for raw milk keeps surging, however, the federal government may be forced to legalize the distribution of unpasteurized milk in order to properly regulate what is a burgeoning underground industry. Number 6. Shark Fins Shark fins have been eaten for centuries primarily in Vietnam and China in the form of shark fin soup. The Chinese traditionally believe that eating shark fins can help increase vitality and overall healthiness, but this is contrary to scientific information. Shark fin soup is actually found to increase the risk of mercury poisoning and mental illness. Beyond the possible health effects, the process of shark finning is widely considered inhumane. When shark finning, the fishermen cut off a shark's fin and throw the shark back into the ocean, which usually leaves the shark to suffocate or be eaten by other aquatic creatures as the shark can no longer swim properly. Thankfully, in the year 2000, President Clinton signed into law legislation that made it illegal to harvest shark fins in United States waters and by U.S. ships in international water. However, it is still legal to import shark fins and canned shark fin soup. In the last two years, there has been a strong push by several activist groups and politicians to outlaw the importing and sale of these products. Number 5. Absinthe Known as the Green Fairy, this high-proof liquor was invented in Switzerland in the late 1700s, but reached its pinnacle in popularity in the French bohemian culture of the 19th century. Absinthe is distilled from several different botanicals, mainly that of wormwood, and has a distinct flavor of anise. It has been commonly misconstrued as a hallucinogen in popular culture due to its containing the chemical thujone. 
This chemical is the source of many misconceptions, one of the most famous of which is that absinthe was at one point banned in the United States. This myth was believed for almost 100 years due to the government's ban on thujone. In actuality, the misinterpreted ban on thujone was only applicable to products that had over 10 milligrams per liter, and most absinthe has and had far less thujone than that parameter. This fact was overlooked though, probably because of the taboo nature of the drink. So, the drink that was technically legal was treated as banned for the better part of a century. Many people today falsely believe that manufacturers recently pressured the government into lifting this non-existent ban, but the real case is that the recent rise in popularity of the drink actually had distillers looking at the fine print and realizing the alleged ban was bunk. However, there actually were bans in two of the countries where the drink was most revered. In France, there technically kind of sort of still is a ban on absinthe, well, at least calling it absinthe. For years, the manufacturers of absinthe in France had to get away with distribution just by changing the name of the drink from absinthe to a wormwood-based product. In 2011, they legalized it fully, aside from the true full-strength absinthe that come from the Swiss. Meanwhile, in Switzerland, its place of origin, there was a ban on the product until 2005. Number 4. Aki. The national fruit of Jamaica, which originated in West Africa, is banned in the United States and several other countries due to the deadly toxin it contains. Aki is a flowery looking fruit that holds large black seeds that are full of the poison known as hippoglycin. Hippoglycin, when ingested, causes what Jamaicans call Jamaican vomiting sickness, which commonly results in death. The fruit is usually served with salt fish, and like the Japanese puffer fish, aki must be prepared to exact specifications, as there is only a small portion of the fruit that doesn't contain hypoglycin. To ensure this portion is poison-free, the fruit is inspected to be right beyond doubt and boiled after to remove any possible remnants. Canned and frozen aki was legalized in the United States for distribution in 2000, but still must pass some of the strictest inspection guidelines, and the raw plant is still illegal to import. Number 3. Kasumartsu. This unique cheese made of sheep's milk can rarely be found outside of its home, the Italian island of Sardinia. Kasumartsu is banned in the United States and in the European Union. Why? Because the cheese is deemed unsanitary by health organizations due to it containing live maggots. Though Italy is part of the European Union, government officials tend to look the other way when it comes to Sardinians who have been making this traditional delicacy for centuries. The cheese can only be made from a certain type of sheep that are native to Sardinia and survive in its harsh climate. In order to make kasumartsu, a common sheep milk known as pecorino sardo is set outside for months so that flies will munch on it and lay their eggs inside of it. Once the maggots hatch, the enzymes they create cause the cheese to decompose, which softens it considerably and heightens its aroma. This process also adds a spicy kick to the cheese. Kasu Martsu must be eaten at just the right time, as when the maggots start to die, the food becomes too dangerous to eat. Even though Sardinians swear by it and consume it often, the EU and US banned it because it is hard to regulate due to the fickle nature of its housing live organisms, the risk of intestinal larval infection, and several cases of people who have eaten it coming down with allergies. Number 2. Haggis. When one thinks of Scotland, a few things come to mind. Kilts, bagpipes, golf, and haggis. But what exactly is haggis, and why is it banned in the United States? Haggis is probably the most celebrated dish in all of Scotland, and is considered by many the best of all meat pudding. The dish is made from the parts of sheep left over after the tender mutton is removed, such as the heart, liver, and lungs, which are called sheep pluck. The pluck is then cooked and mixed with seasonings and oatmeal, which are stuffed into a sheep stomach and boiled for a few hours. So why is this highly sought after and beloved Scottish dish banned in the United States? Well, as it turns out, in 1971, the USDA enacted a law that bans any food that contains lungs of livestock. Their reasoning is that during the process of slaughtering an animal such as a sheep or cow, that unwanted fluids such as stomach acid and phlegm can pool into the animal's lungs, and these could possibly make people sick. Haggis without lung can be found at some restaurants in America, but many refuse to eat it, citing that it doesn't taste the same. Number 1. Mountain Dew. Pepsi Cola's Mountain Dew is one of the most popular soft drinks in the United States, so you might be surprised that it is banned in over 100 countries around the world. One might think this is because of the drink's high caffeine content, but the real culprit is brominated vegetable oil, or BVO. BVO is made of plant triglycerides that have been chemically combined with the element bromine. This resulting additive is used in Mountain Dew as an emulsifier. This means that it acts as glue that stops the ingredients of the soda from separating in storage, as they naturally would. 
The bad part is that bromine is a toxic chemical that has been found to cause a multitude of mental health issues such as schizophrenia to physical issues like birth defects and deterioration of vital organs. When it becomes BVO, it is found to also increase the risk of cancer and thyroid damage. If you want to avoid BVO, cutting out Mountain Dew isn't the only thing you'll have to do. You'll have to cut out almost all soda pops and sports drinks altogether because it is found in almost every beverage with citrus flavoring on the market and then some. For these reasons, products that use BVO as an additive are banned across the European Union, India, and Japan as well as others. Many of the companies that make products with BVO have scaled back the amount they use in their products and say they intend to eventually get rid of it outright. The FDA maintains that most cases of illness or medical conditions linked to BVO occur when people ingest excessive amounts of it. People who drink more than 2 liters a day have been known to develop health problems such as nervous system disorders, reproductive issues, and even skin lesions. In one extreme case, a man developed the rare skin condition Bromoderma after he drank a disgusting 8 liters of ruby red squirt every day. Subscribe for more videos.